Hi. Hi, it's December 11th. It's freezing outside. And this is an episode of Watch This Instead on the substream.com. Today we're going to talk about Peter Jackson's totally fantastical, completely over the top, and really, really cloying adaptation of Alice Siebold's beloved novel about a young girl who's played by Saoirse Ronan in the film who gets murdered and goes halfway to heaven, The Lovely Bones. What we're going to say about it is, you should watch something else instead of it. Peter Jackson's had a weird career. He spent the first half of it in New Zealand making a handful, if you have can hold three things in your hand, making these weird, completely cynical, dark, funny, blood-drenched, horror slapstick comedy movies like Meet the Feebles and Brain Dead, which was known as Dead Alive in North America. And he spent the last half of his career making these completely over-the-top, epic Hollywood storytelling cast of thousands, effects-driven, four-hour-long epics like the Lord of the Rings movies and King Kong. Right in between those halves, though, in the middle, he did two things. He made The Frighteners with Michael J. Fox, which is a really cool, really underrated movie. But he also made a very, very, very good, very small, very smart film in 1994 called Heavenly Creatures, which is what you should watch instead of The Lovely Bones. Based on the true story of the New Zealand Parker Hulm, Hulm murder, stars Kate Winslet and Melanie Linsky as two teenage friends with this incredibly intense, maybe sexual relationship based on their shared love of opera and imagining fantasy lands and pretending that they were royalty. And they eventually murder one of their parents to resist their parents' attempts to split them up and send them away from each other. It's still Jackson's best film and I say that as somebody that thinks that Brain Dead or Dead Alive, the movie in which a guy hoists up a lawnmower and runs through the foyer in his house smashing the zombies, is a work of genius. And the creativity that he's famous for, the unhinged imagination that he uses to bring to life the girl's fantasy world, works much better in Heavenly Creatures than it does in The Lovely Bones. If you've seen Heavenly Creatures already, or if you've seen The Frighteners already, you can go to zip.ca by clicking one of the banners here on our website on substream.com. We get the money if you do. And rent a film called Atonement that came out a couple of years ago and it stars Keira Knightley and it also stars Saoirse Ronan when she was 13. She got an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress when she was in that film, becoming like the sixth or seventh youngest person ever to do it. And she deserved probably to win. She's incredibly disturbing in that film. And while that film got a whole bunch of nominations a year, it came out and a whole bunch of awards, not nearly enough people have seen it. So, this weekend, if you're freezing your butt off, instead of going to see the super hyper color over the top, what dreams may come squared, the lovely bones, rent atonement or rent Heavenly Creatures instead. Or if you want to go to the theater and eat the popcorn and get the big Coke, go see Up in the Air instead. <laughs>